All right, y'all, in Jesus' name, and actually it's technically come out in Jesus' name, but Gabby, you excited? I'm excited for the popcorn. And look who it is. <laughs> it's been a while. You guys excited? Yeah, yeah I'm excited to take uh, some demons though. Get to see some people set free. Butter popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and butter popcorn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, another movie review. You know, we're gonna give a review at the end of this. We're all just getting our popcorn. So we're gonna keep this to a review video, y'all. But if some demons start manifesting, you know it's about to happen. We're gonna cast out some demons. My mom and Gabby are keeping a lookout, discerning the spirits. And once you break that legal contract, those demons come out and they flee. In the next few months, just believe in my faith. Jesus. Jesus will deliver the destiny. He will deliver you from your enemies, but he will not deliver you from your friends. He is King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and he is real, and he is coming back, and he is coming back soon. And you need to be ready. You need to be ready. He's coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's nothing more important than your soul salvation it's not a one-time thing i can be married to my husband we are the certificate that says we're married but it doesn't mean we have a marriage we need a relationship with the lord jesus christ it's relationship not religion it's not about a church we are the church he called every one of you to be free in jesus name every one of you to go and set the captives free to preach the gospel to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover all we have Unbelief is disobedience. Unbelief will send you to hell. I was really looking for him. I was really looking for him. And I couldn't find him. And then God led me to actually read his word. I found that in the Bible it says repentance isn't just saying sorry, God. You have to turn away. Yes. You can't keep yes. living for yourself because that is not Thank a relationship with Jesus Christ. And the minute that I turned away from living for myself, he completely changed my life. Yes. He set me free from the things I was dealing with. And he led me to be baptized. I feel like that's something a lot of us in this room probably have different views on. Yeah. But Romans 6 says that in your baptism water that you die your old life, that you rise as a new creation. And I'm sure there's a lot of people in here that have said a prayer, but you haven't been baptized. I feel like it's, a, I feel like it's extremely important that you understand that you read Romans 6. Yeah. Because I know for me, I didn't understand that growing up. And because of that, I was stuck in the chains of sin. And I couldn't find deliverance. I couldn't find freedom. I had anxiety. I had depression. I had insecurity. And I thought these things were normal. I didn't party. I didn't drink. I didn't cuss. But I still had inward faults. And it wasn't until I repented, I was baptized. I received the Holy Spirit. I was set free from those demons. And God changed my life. Thank you, Jesus. And so I feel like it's very important that you, you guys just seek. That it's not just about what you hear, that you test all things. You can't just watch the movie and not ask Jesus if it's true. You can't just listen to a sermon and not ask Jesus if it's true. You have to test it. You have to seek him. You can't live for yourself because that's not what Jesus wants. Living for yourself will never fulfill you. I just urge the importance of really understanding what baptism is because he wants to clothe you in himself. And that comes with being immersed in him through the water. Yes. All right, so we're back. We're about to do the review of the movie. The Lord's been highlighting deliverance to me for a while because I've always known about it. I've done it before, but he was showing me that there's things that are deeper in deliverance. And one of the very first things that he actually showed me was sometimes it's not this simple process of just praying with somebody for 10, 15 minutes, but sometimes you really got to dig deep and try to find the root in that person. And so sometimes it could take an hour, two hours, three hours, four hours. And so that was like one of the very first things that he showed me. And then uh, obviously we went to the conference, we did a video on that and we just learned a little bit more. Like another thing that popped out to me is deliverance and prophecy can go hand in hand. It's cool to have prophetic words when you're doing deliverance because that way the Holy Spirit's obviously speaking to you about this person and you know what to call out. And it's not you this method of like, you know, you're not going down a list, but the Holy Spirit is telling you what this person's battling. And so we went to this movie today with an open heart. And obviously, I like some of the people that are in the movie. Like, I like Greg Locke. I like Isaiah. I like Alexander. I don't know much about him. 
but I, I like what I've seen with him so far. And I'm not saying they all preach 100% truth. The movie was focused on deliverance. And so I personally believe everything that they said with deliverance is accurate because one, in the movie, they, they showed scripture, which I think was obviously good because scripture matters and that's what we're supposed to go to to test all things so i don't think anything they said about deliverance is inaccurate the main thing that people always argue about is can a christian have a demon and one of the biggest tactics of the enemy is his ways and his plans and how his kingdom operates doesn't get exposed it's to make people think that children of god cannot be affected by demonic spirits. Clearly we see that in the world. There's tons of Christians that have demons. I think the movie was really good. Obviously there's some key points that you know I think Abby would agree on. Like when you get deliverance the goal is to stay free and to not go back to your sin. Another key point is when you're doing deliverance on somebody you want to make sure they're filled with the Holy Spirit. You don't want them to just go off because the scripture says that if they're not filled with the Holy Spirit, then seven more will come. But overall, I think the movie was good. In comparison to our other reviews on movies so far, I have nothing really to hate on. So I would say for my end of the re review, um, I definitely went in this with just like an attitude of wanting to just see what God wants to do. You know, yes, there's going to be things I don't agree with. Yes, there's going to be things I agree with. But it's like... What is Holy Spirit leading? What is Holy Spirit teaching? That's definitely what's been on my mind recently is not to just be in my own thoughts about this is good or this is bad, but okay, Holy Spirit, what are you showing me right now? What are you doing right now? I went in the movie and the first 30 minutes were kind of slow. You know, it wasn't bad by any means. Like it was kind of just Greg Locke sharing his story and like how he came to deliverance, which was cool. It was through a baptism with a little girl manifesting. And so I thought that was really powerful because we've seen a lot of baptisms where people were like, um, manifesting right out of the water and even our own baptisms were like that and so I thought that was cool but it was about like 30 minutes in that it like really picked up and my spirit really did start feeling joyous about like wow Lord you're really doing something and just throughout the whole movie I was asking the Lord questions you know because there's a lot of disunity in the church and there's a lot of people that focus on one thing and the other thing and not like all putting it together but that's like another sorry I didn't mean hey you that's like a whole other topic that's not relevant to this video but overall I thought it was good you know I'm, I'm excited to see people set other people free because it's extremely important especially the age that we're in and God's definitely highlighting it to the body right now for a purpose and for a reason and so I agree with what Dylan said you know if you're gonna set people free you gotta preach the gospel and they have to be filled with the Holy Spirit those are two urgent things and so I'm just really excited to see the body start to put this together when we do deliverance when it's like it all because it's not just the ministry of baptism or the ministry of repentance or the ministry of deliverance like you got to put it all together otherwise you're always gonna you're not gonna be fully free there was this little little boy that was like praying a prayer for people to be free and I just thought that was so cool because he was like seven or eight years old and people underestimate kids so much and I really feel like God's gonna raise up children that are young like not just the like Gen Z like us like young kids that God's gonna move through and work through and I'm like really excited to see that some of the things that were just slight disagreements which were like just from the way that they phrase it so I just want to clarify this is that they kind of said that if you deal with XYZ you definitely have a spirit like they gave things like demonic dreams and intrusive thoughts and these things a lot of times are spirits but you can still have an intrusive thought from the enemy that doesn't always mean you have a demon Sometimes a demon will try to speak to you and try to like poke its way in, but it's not always a demon. But it definitely, definitely is a lot of times. Yeah, you might have to go through deliverance like a few times. several sessions, but... But if you constantly just, something's wrong in my life, so I have a demon. Like she's saying, there there could be something trying to to speak into our life. Like a demonic spirit could try to get us to to do something or you know put a thought in our mind but the only way we open that door is if we constantly come in agreement with it so that one little moment where that voice was speaking to you you came into agreement with it we need to do the opposite of that it was really cool because it was on our hearts to see what god would do after the movie as well and we really just wanted to talk to people and connect with people and be used as vessels of the lord and so god opened up opportunity to do that afterwards hey everyone so the camera battery died i'm still editing and i have to get this up because i want y'all to see it we upload every tuesday every Friday, 5 p.m. EST, and I'm actually going to be doing some work tomorrow, but we really do want to keep up with the schedule and end this video with a, an actual ending, so thank y'all for watching. We appreciate you watching this review, 
And just remember, you know, a lot of people are going to argue about doctrine and what they believe and this person's false, this person's false. And I really just believe that's not what God wants. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're doing the opposite of what's Christ-like. You're actually doing what the enemy enjoys. You're just dividing yourself between the body of Christ. And remember, he's coming back for a spotless bride. And so whether you like it or not, God is using this movie. I, I pray that there's other videos like this where people were bold in those theaters, praying for people. And I, this was a seed planted. I really do believe God is going to continue using this movie. And so God bless you guys. We love you. And we'll see you in the next one.